Yo, Elliot, I have an important exam coming up in school, and I just had a text, a test exam where I failed. I choked instantly and didn't even get to start. Not even a word. I choked and I could not get started at all. I am well prepared going in, but I am too much in my head. I put a lot of unnecessary pressure on myself, wanting to set the bar high, way too high, I believe. When I choke in the exam, I get emotional. I take it very seriously, maybe too much. I want to succeed. I have always struggled with these situations. I know I have to start uh, talking and get a momentum, keep talking, but that didn't happen today. Do you have any advice on how I could perform without pressure? In fact, I do. And it's been a while since I spoke about breathing into your balls and bioenergetics. And this is a great opportunity for you to get into that zone that I was talking about before. Remember, the zone isn't in here. You, an athlete isn't in the zone because, oh man, look how, look how much he's thinking, right? You don't get in the zone by thinking. The zone is a physical thing. Speaking is a physical thing, right? I'm here speaking with you. Look, it's all, all my mouth is moving, my tongue is moving, my eyes are moving, my hands are moving. All kinds of stuff is moving. You saying that you have an exam where you need to speak. You got to get in the physical zone. Now, I love that you use the word choke because what is something that's choked? Constricted. When you constrict something, it chokes. You're choking yourself, right? You're constricting your throat. Your whole body is choked, specifically your throat. Because that's where you speak. So it is, it is a literal choke. You literally choke, right? But it wasn't with your hands. It was with your nervous system and your muscles. You, you, you cramped up and couldn't do anything. Before you go into your classroom, you got to move and you got to breathe. It could be something as simple as run around the block and just get your breathing going. Right? Just go for a run. Run some sprints. What happens when, you, when you're breathing like that? You're pulsating. When your body is not choked, everything, the primary movement in the body is pulsation. How do you know that's true? Well, what does the heart do? What do you have to do to stay alive? Everything in your body is pulsating. They even say, Scientists say, I don't know what kind of scientist, but I've heard somebody say it sometime, that the whole universe is pulsating. And that the earth even has a pulsating resonance. People said that there's even a sound in the universe that sounds like that. Everything is pulsating. Systole, diastole, right? Inhalation, exhalation, even nature. Sun is up, sun is down. Sun is up, sun is down. Sun is up, sun is down. It's summertime, it's wintertime. It's summertime, it's wintertime. Everything pulsates. Last week we were talking about women and their menstrual cycles, right? She's ovulating, she's on a period. She's ovulating, she's on a period. So when you're choking, what you're actually choking off is the pulsation in your body. What can you do to bring pulsation back? I'm pulsating today. So I'm going to show you. I'll, this, just, this is how simple it is, right? Bioenergetics is profound, but it's simple. Check out how my body, but also my throat is going to pulsate. Actually, I don't even have to stand up and do it, but you can stand up and do it. Let your, let your whole body just up and down. Going flat feet like that too. When I'm landing on the ground and I'm hitting my feet flat on the floor, it set, what does it do? It sends a vibration up my body. What is a vibration? A pulsation. All right, I'm done. <laughs> I'm wild today because I'm drinking this tea. I gave up coffee and started drinking tea. <laughs> Maybe tea's better for me. So, let me get Jack in here. 
you got to do something physical that produces and facilitates pulsation in your body before you do what you're about to do. Even when I make, when I used to make videos for YouTube, I would do that. I would, and also it's very important to make that sound because if you're going to be speaking, you want as much freedom and pulsation through your throat as possible. Just bounce. I made YouTube videos about this. I, you know, I'm a nut. I have one on my Strength Camp channel. It's called Bioenergetic Warm Up. And a part of the Bioenergetic Warm Up is, I call it the ground pound. You're just pounding on the ground going, loosen your body. And, and, and the more sound you could make, the more resonance there is. What is resonance? If you don't want to make noise like that, you know what you could also do? That's a subtle one. Watch, you saw my throat just opened up. My voice gets deeper. When you, because what is that again? It's vibration. Right? So now I'm more relaxed in my throat. Can't choke when you're relaxed. When you do that with your throat, because I open up the back of my throat, imagine there's a ball. <clears throat> I open up the back of my throat. You can't choke. You can't choke when your throat is open, can you? You got to open your throat. All of these are just different tips. You could do whatever you want. You could do anything you want. You could do the humming. You could do the bouncing. I think the bouncing is probably the best idea. You can even, if you find that you have a lot of tension in your chest, right? Because there's different things that you can do. For your, for your throat, there's a lot of times a lot of tension in the cervicalidomastoid and in the, jo in the jaw. You can press on those muscles. Uh, and just, a, just the producing a little bit of pain sends shocks through your nervous system into those muscles and it calms it down. That's why when you get a massage, it hurts. But then when you walk away, it's like, whoa, wow, feels good. That's what happens when you press on tight muscles, tight muscles, tight muscles in here too, right? Your scalenes, scalenes have a tendency to get tight. If I want to have a deeper voice, right? Because I, I, you know, I'm not perfect either. I'm all kinds of messed up. I, that's why I know all this shit because I'm trying to make myself better. All I got to do is press on my scalenes and look how, look how deep my voice gets right there. I'm not doing anything special. All of a sudden, I'm, I, I'm relaxing the scalenes, and so my throat is more open, and so I, I speak in that way more freely, right? Because you have muscles in here that get tense. So it's all physical. It's not in your head. You say you get in your head. You're right. But think about what your head is. Think about what your brain is. Your brain is the control switch for your body. So you're, switch, you're, you're using your brain to switch your body off. But you could use your body to switch your brain on the right way. I don't know if I'm giving a good analogy there. But they work both ways. You can calm your brain by calming your body. Does that make sense? By relaxing your body through that vibration, through that deep breathing, through that movement, your mind will actually be calmer. You don't have to do anything to get out of your head. A lot of people, you know, that's like, have you ever heard? That's trying to solve the problem at the level at which it was created. Ever heard anybody say that? The problem is your head. So you can't get out of your head by thinking your way out of being in your head. You have to move your way out of your head. So I think I've, I've given you enough on that. Move however you want. Like I said, you can do sprints. You could take a jog. Bounce on a trampoline, bounce on the floor, vibrate through your throat. D uh, you know who understands bioenergetics? I know he studied uh, Alexander Lowen. 
uh, Robbins, Tony Robbins. Tony Robbins understands bioenergetics and he uses it quite powerfully. Uh, and because I discovered that he was also a student of Alexander Lowen's, that's where I learned all this stuff, Alexander Lowen and Dr. Glazier. So whenever uh, Tony Robbins talks about getting into a state, that's what he's talking about. He says, I think he says state, story, and something. I don't remember. But he's got these three things about being, being in a way. And so getting into a state is all physical. Oh. Oh. What is that doing? It's loosening up any tension I might have in my chest, even my solar plexus. Oh, feels so good. I should do more of it myself. But that's what I think will help you do done. Yo, are you ready to become a king in your life? If so, I'm looking for a few more guys that I can work closely with in order to help them dominate in fitness, business, and with women. If that sounds like you, then just go over to my Instagram account and DM me the word King, K-I-N-G. My team will get back to you with the details. If you're able to message me today, I can guarantee you that you'll be able to work closely with me. So DM me the word King on my Instagram and I'll get back to you with the details right away.